Welcome to the Long Island International Film Expo. I'm death itself, celebrating 25 years of life, and I'm here with one of our frighteningly talented filmmakers. Please, tell us a little about yourself. Uh, my name is Mark Blumberg. I'm the writer-director of a film, uh, short film called There's Something Wrong. Fantastic. Mark, thank you for joining us here at Life. Tell us, what drew you to this festival in particular? Um, I've screened here many times before. Um, actually, the, one of the motivations to keep going was uh, Life accepted my first film, uh, Before the Snow, back in 2015. And uh, we were nominated for Best Feature. And, uh, very, uh, meant a lot. And, uh, you know, every, every time I come here, everybody's so hospitable. Uh, nothing beats screening in a movie theater, so we love it. So you've been coming to life for years now. How are you enjoying the 25th celebration? Uh, it's great. It's good to see uh, old friends, uh, new friends, make new friends. And, uh, Can you tell us a little bit about There's Something Wrong With Paul? Um, there's Something Wrong With Paul. Deals with a taboo topic, which I can't uh, reveal because it's a spoiler. No spoilers. Uh, but uh, in August 2020, I was, you know, everybody's in lockdown. I, I thought of a very disturbing story. Uh, so it's about a family member who is, uh, he gets out of prison and he's trying to make amends with his family uh, at a dinner with the mom and the siblings, and everything doesn't go as he planned. And, That's why it's in the hard block. So what draws you to the darker side of the arts like art? Um, I think authentic stories tend to be dark. Um, I've written a couple of movies, but I do tend to write about catharsis uh, and uh, people going through our kids and stuff like that. And uh, the main character in this movie, uh, something happened to him as a child and it kind of made him this way. Well, this is it's pretty early in the festival run. I think it's like our fifth festival. So uh, next week we're in Bergenfield. Uh, there's a couple of like, New York City screenings coming up uh, next month, the month after that. So we'll just you know, we'll continue to screen and, and uh, enjoy the, the surprise. How has the reception of such a taboo subject been in the past festivals? Um, we screened at Manhattanville Festival, and there was a lot of... <laughs> that kind of thing, so that's what I was going for, so I'll, I'll take it. Yes, listening the reaction that you want. What was the hardest part of bringing this to life? Um, we we uh, filmed in two days, so much of the movie takes place at a dining room table, uh, kitchen table, and uh, so we had five actors come in, and we did all that in one day, and then everything else we did on uh, the day before that, so I wish we would have had three or four days, but the budget only allowed for two days, so that, that's probably the hardest thing. Your film does a fantastic job of drawing tension. Do you have any tips for other filmmakers to create such a tense atmosphere? Um, hire good actors. That, that's my, my tip. I mean, yeah, a lot of it comes from the script, but you have people who can't pull off what's on the page. Uh, so I, I brought back a bunch of people that I worked with before who I knew uh, you know, kind of nailed that. So uh, I don't usually write for actors, but this one I wrote for the actress, and I knew that she kind of had that in her. So I what are you hoping for audiences to take away from this? Just to think a little bit. I you know, wrote, wrote a movie about a very small character. Um, so to get an audience to uh, sympathize with somebody who has done really bad things in their past uh, is a challenge. And that, that's what I uh, was up for. So if they could kind of feel for him and then uh, what he's been through. I, personally, I, I think he's a terrible person. <laughs> What's been the most rewarding part of this process? Um, just just the reaction to the movie, like the, the amount of festivals it got into. Um, I I thought people were going to be kind of scared to screen it because it does deal with a taboo subject, but apparently people apparently everybody is kind of a little messed up like that. How does force us to look life in the grizzly eyes and face the truth? I thank you for being bold enough to put your film out there. And thank you for joining us here at Life. It's always a pleasure.